What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do this super slow motion effect. I thought I'd do something a bit different today. I'm going to be re-editing the Gucci Gang music video. So as well as adding this super slow motion effect, what I'm going to be doing is adding speed ramps uh, in and out of them. So when I'm going through this music video, I'm looking for shots with some nice camera movement. Okay, so this is one of the shots I picked out. It's got a really nice camera slide. So the first thing I'm going to do on this shot is go to the point where I want to slow down. So let's say there, I'm gonna hold down shift, press B, and then I'm gonna skip two frames. Hold down shift, press B again. That's added another speed ramp. So I'm just gonna drag this out until it gets to about, let's go to 5%. So that's 5% of the original speed, which is like super slow. It looks super choppy right now. So what we have to do is go to the speed wheel here go down to video quality and click optical flow. That's gonna render it real quickly and sort of like mix the frames together to create a smooth shot in the super slow motion. So now if we play that back, it's pretty smooth. The bits coming in and out of the shot, I'm just gonna speed them up by clicking and dragging these speed ramps. I'm gonna speed those right up and that's gonna add the speed ramp effect. So I'll play that back. Okay, look, that looks pretty cool. Let's do this smoke shot. And on this one, I'm gonna show you how to make a speed ramp boomerang effect. Make the speed ramp where you want it to slow down. Skip two frames, hold shift, press B, drag that out, and turn on optical flow. So same as the other one so far. To get this boomerang effect, what you wanna do is cut the shot somewhere in this orange part. So I'm just gonna press B and split it right there. And then with this first half, what I'm gonna do is turn it into a compound clip, just like that. We can delete this bit here. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this and put it directly after it. And then I'm gonna select it and click reverse clip. And now we have this like really cool speed ramped boomerang effect. Just like that. Okay, so now I've got this little sequence together. What I'm gonna do is add some smooth transition layers to just emphasize like these movements. So these little smooth transition layers actually work really well with speed ramps because you can just overlay them and it's not gonna affect the speed ramp at all. Add a bit of motion blur in there as well. Cool, and that's a little sequence. So yeah, that's the super slow-mo effect. It will work better with some shots than others because it has to like create frames in between and mix them together. But yeah, I'm gonna go through and re-edit a bunch more of these clips and put a little edit together and I'll play it at the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.